Welcome to Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com. I'm here with Nathan at the Dynamics Research Guys, and uh, we've been looking for some bullets. We're going to start carrying bullets through us here at Draves Archery and a lot of other uh, guns, ammo kind of thing. And what we've come across is a bullet that basically will work for an in-home defense, a varmint defense, or not really defense to the varmint, but a varmint bullet, uh, something that's totally different than anybody else has on the market. And we're gonna kinda do a big deal here with these guys on them. Um, Nathan, let's go kinda go through your lineup. We're gonna do uh, home defense style bullets, basically what the most popular is probably what, like a 380? Yeah, well, um, you know, we do a full line of pistol stuff, 380, nine millimeter, 40 caliber, and 45. Okay. Um, as well as 223 for hunting, self-defense, and um, we do some 30 caliber hunting bullets as well. You know, we're really excited to have you guys bring us into your store because it is an innovative product, and I know you guys are always trying to stay on the, uh, on Cut. the cutting edge of Absolutely. Um, you know, the way that these bullets are designed completely different than anybody else's. When the jacket rips off, we use a powdered core rather than a solid lead core. So instead of poking holes through the target, whether that's an animal target for hunting or whether that's a self-defensive situation and you're forced to use your weapon, when this jacket comes off, it's going to release the powder that's inside. And what that does is create a devastating wound cavity. Okay. It's also going to be a lot safer for home defensive situations because if you ever are forced to discharge your firearm into an intruder, the likelihood that that round is going to exit is very low. So it's going to be a lot safer for you know for your family in the room next, for the kids, things like that. Okay, and uh, what we talked about here, guys, is is the way these these bullets actually work. And I'll just pick up this block and I'll show you. And he can kind of explain a little bit of this here. I don't know if you can zoom in on this or not, but when you look at this bullet, your bullet entry actually comes in here about an inch before it actually kind of starts to deploy. And this is the same gel block that everybody uses, basically, it right? Is, the density is the same. Yeah, it's 10% ballistic density. Now, the one big difference between this and what you've maybe seen on Mythbusters um, is that shows the temporary wound cavity and permanent. This only shows permanent. So this is what's left when you're done um, shooting that, that organic target. Now, which which size round is this here? So this is the 9 millimeter, and uh, I guess maybe the best way to explain it in archery terms um, would be, you know, most of your most of your bullets are going to just poke a single hole, and they're designed to poke as big a hole as possible. Um, when our round enters here, you guys can see this. The, the powder starts to expand, and to me, I would kind of describe it, it's almost like when you start putting um, pop out blades on the end of a, of a broadhead. You know, you're trying to get as much expansion as possible, and by using a powdered core technology, we can get expansion that nobody else has. Guys, if you, I don't know, like I said, if you can see this in here, you can see that this bullet is just like literally exploded and shredded into tons of little pieces. And the bullet itself, and then you watch this cavity core come through here, and then you see a little bit more. But yet, what is it, how long is this guy? 16 this inches? Is 16 and a half. Yeah. 16 and a half inches, guys, and it still hasn't came through the back side of this. Um, something else you'd mentioned, you'd talked about, was the ability to shoot. Let's say you shoot a, a hard surface as a 2x4. The bullet, you guys say, will actually shoot through a 2x4 or a 4x4 and it won't actually expand and do this kind of cavity it work. Will. So it's, what's important for us is when we shoot what we call semi-hard targets, to be able to penetrate those things because there are situations from a self-defensive standpoint, uh, or law enforcement for that matter, where you need to be able to shoot through something like a car door or a wall in your home okay. and, and not penetrate a, uh, an organic or a living target. Now let's translate that over to hunting, like the 223 or any of our rounds, we want it to be able to penetrate the paunch on an animal and penetrate bone. So what that what that ability to to penetrate those hard surfaces does is it allows it to get into the bone, go through that, and then expand. So you're waiting for expansion until you get into the vital organ area. Guys, now this is this is a 223 round. Like I said, we're going to carry all the products. This is a 223 round. When you look at this guy here, he comes in about an inch, inch and a half, and starts to expand. But when he expands. He turns into like a sandblast in the inside of, of exactly. the cavity, basically. And you guys can look at this and you can see what's really happening here. Nobody else has this. I mean, there's a lot of people got bullets that's got some shot or something like that to come out the backside. And you're saying that even, and the guys still, once again, it's only a 16 and a half inch gel block. Same gel block as a nine millimeter. So even if you was to shoot uh, an animal or, you know, had to use it as a home defense gun or something like that there on a 223 round, you're still not going to probably come out the back side of Correct. a person or an animal. So if you guys are coyote hunting, 
and you're using a 223 round to Kiowa hunt with, what, what else is going to help with that is on your pelt, you're only going to put an entrance hole in that animal. You're not going to put an exit hole in it. So now you, your hide becomes worth more money. So the bullets, um, they're really not any more money than your competitors, the, a high-end hunting bullet, so no. to say. You're the, the same or even a little less yeah. th than those guys as far as a, a bullet goes. But what we're getting, guys, we're getting a, a bullet that's so different. This is a, a 45, right? Yep, that's the 45 ACP. And Look at this. See, I mean, nearly the size of a softball for the permanent wound cabinet. You know, very lethal, very devastating. And again, in addition, I like to tell people it's, it's the most lethal ammunition, but at the same time, it's the safest. Because when you are uh, forced to use your weapon in an urban environment, a high traffic area, I've got a lot of um, SRT teams use this for hostage rescue. At that point, it makes it incredibly safe because the likelihood that you're going to have a pass is very and low. You, I think I think you did a video. He, he's got a video on this guy where he takes this 223 round, runs up to a steel target. What do you start off at, like 50 feet or something like that? Oh, probably more like 15 feet. 15 feet and literally run up to what? Oh, it's close for me to you. It's still shooting it. Absolutely. So when this round hits something hard enough that a lead round would ricochet, it also breaks back up. So we're not going to end up with the same kind of ricochets uh, as what you're going to get off of your standard 223 bullets or your 45s or something like that. If it hits a hard enough surface, this person standing behind that person or animal standing behind that other animal isn't going to get the same shot. It's not going to make a pass through on the same deal, which is what we're looking for. Um, just very neat, innovative stuff, guys. Absolutely, this product will be in my store. It's going to be for sale. Um, and we're going to do some big things here with these guys, and they're going to come out with more bullets that's going to change the market because um, what they're doing is, is so different and innovative from what any other bullet company in here that, I don't know, it's just the neatest thing I've ever seen as far as a bullet goes. Well, we're excited to be partnering with you guys, and I know that your customers are going to be happy, especially as they start to hunt with this and come back in and can share the results with you. and. Um, I'm, it's cool, guys. Check us out here, Draves Archery, DravesArchery.com. Uh, they do have, they do have some um, black powder bullets. Yeah, we do. We're actually getting incredible results with this muzzleloader bullet. It's a .451 diameter, so a 45 with the Sabo. You're shooting it out of a 50 caliber muzzleloader. Okay. We're actually shooting two inch groups at 200 with this, and four inch groups at 300, which is absolutely unheard of in the black powder world. Yeah, um, and so not not to re lose that guy, but this here comes the two twenty three comes in what three different grain weights? Um, yeah, we're gonna, we'll do three different grain weights on this. I think we'll be offering it um, in all three in your store. One of those is the thirty nine, okay. which is more for the predator hunting. Okay, um, and then you know we'll do the full line of pistol, so four different calibers, and I, and you know the muzzle loader it comes in uh, one seventy grain. It's very light. A lot of people ask questions of why is it so light. Um, I could give you a big long spiel. I'd say we've got videos on it, but um, there's a reduced recoil so, with the light. Now. Real quick, one other thing here we're going to run through. Uh, hopefully, we got time on this video to do it. Is you talked about to me before that your bullets are a little lighter and a little, little less charged, so to say, but yet you've got more kinetic pound of energy through because of direct transfer instead exactly. of the, the bullet, is that, yeah, is that so, right? So most of the rifle stuff are pretty conventional weights because they have to be for the twist rate on the rifle. But the pistol and the muzzle loader, a lot of people look at them and say, well, that's really light. I want a heavy bullet so it transfers more energy. And sort of the lay way to explain that is um, if, I'm going to, if I'm going to punch you right. and I'm going to hit a glancing blow and my fist blows off, the heavier my fist weighs, the more kinetic energy is going to be transferred to you. Absolutely. But if I'm going to punch you like this, and it's not going to glance off, I can do a lot more damage with less weight. And so that's what we preach. That's the other thing. With not having an exit wound, you're getting 100% energy dump. So there's no spent energy going in one side of the animal and outside the other. So knockdown power, that's how it translates. Okay, a box of 223s, guys, looks absolutely devastating looking thing. What's this going to cost them? $23. 23 for a box of? 23 for a box of 20. So very conventional to what you guys are paying for now for all of your top hunting rounds. Um, you know, the pistol stuff is quite a bit cheaper. Uh, we want to be able to offer people an affordable way to protect their family and protect themselves. So Guys, this, I'm telling you, there's a lot of these bullets and any bullet out there, I wouldn't want to be shot by any of them. But this would be the absolute last one I'd want okay. to go through anywhere. 
Check us out here at GravesArchery.com. We'll get you some bullets, guys. Give us a call. Thank you.